lesson number 10 about solar energy during this lesson i'm going to explain how to calculate the annual solar energy output of a photovoltaic system the global formula to estimate the electricity generated in output of photovoltaic system is e equal a multiplied by r multiplied by h multiplied by pr so e is the energy and it's measured in kilowatt hour a equal total solar panel area and it's uh, measured in meter square r is solar panel yield or efficiency h is the annual average solar radiation on tilted panels shaded not included we suppose that the panels are in the direct sun of light and finally we have the pr pr is the performance ratio coefficient for losses the range of this factor is between 0 0.5 to 0 0.9 and the default value is 0 0.75 now how to calculate r so as we can see r is the efficiency or the solar panel yield to calculate r r equal the electrical power and be careful in kilowatt peak so we have kwp kilowatt peak of one solar panel divided by so we have division divided by the area of one panel and remember that r is uh, given by ratio as we will see in the next example okay so it will be or it will given by the ratio here we have not solar electricity systems are given a rating in kilowatt peak okay so this unit is kilowatt peak this is essentially the rate at which so what's the meaning of kilowatt peak this is essentially the rate at which is generated energy at peak performance for example at noon and sunny day so we will have the peak performance the kilowatt peak we calculate this factor at two conditions at noon and a sunny day here we have an example the solar panel yield r of pv model of 250 watt peak so here be careful it's not in kilowatt so we have to change it to kilowatt so this value equal 0 0.250 kilowatt with an area of 1.6 meters square the result will be 15.6 percent so how to calculate this value to calculate this value the calculation is r equal we divided 0 0.25 of course this is in kilowatt peak by 1.6 the area according to this formula and then we multiply by 100 percent and the result will be 0 0.15625 multiplied by 100 and it's equal 15.625 percent so we can see it's the same result edge is the annual average solar radiation on tilted panels it's between for example it's between 200 in norway so it's 200 kilowatt hour per meter square for one year and it's about 2600 kilowatt hour per meter square for one year in saudi arabia so to find the value of the annual average solar radiation we can use this link or we can see from uh, this image okay we can see the middle east region okay the red color here or the saudi arabia at this location so we can see the color it's about at this position it's about here okay so it's 2600 about 2600 kilowatt here we can see this is the uh, yearly scale and this one is the daily also we can see in the south africa here we have a good solar radiation also in australia in africa so from this diagram we can calculate the solar radiation 
or we can calculate edge, which is the annual average solar radiation. The next factor is the PR, the performance ratio. The performance ratio is depends on the losses. We have many type of losses, as we can see here. So we have uh, the inverter losses, the temperature losses, DC cable losses, AC cable losses. We have the shading problem, the losses uh, because of the shading, the losses at weak radiation, and losses due to dust or snow, and we have other losses. But be careful, the most effective one is the shading. So this one is the most effective uh, loss in the solar panel systems. In, in calculations, in some examples, we have a factor called power or panel generation factor. So what is the panel generation factor? Is used while calculating the size of solar photovoltaic cells. It is a varying factor depending upon the climate of the site location. So we can see this factor depends on the uh, location. So each location uh, has its own uh, panel generation factor and its difference from one region to another. Here we have an example. A house has the following electrical appliances usage. We have one 18 watt fluorescent lamp. This lamp is working four hours per day. The second uh, device is a 60 watt fan used for two hours. And we have 75 watt refrigerator that runs 24 hours per day with compressor running 12 hours. Of course, the refrigerator is working for 24 hours in spite of that the refrigerators are working for 24 hours, but the compressor is not always working. So the compressor is working just about 12 hours out of the 24 hours. We can say we have a refrigerator, it's working just for 12 hours. So the system will be powered by 12 volt DC, 110 watt peak PV model, the panel generation factor is a 3.43. I think this value is for Thailand. We have to use a safety factor. So we can use a safety factor of 30% or we can use directly multiply by 1.3. This is the same. We can use the 30% or multiply by 1.3 as a safety factor. Now to calculate the number of PV panels for the system, so we have the solution. The total appliances used is 18 watt multiplied by four hours for the first device. Then we have 16 multiplied by two hours for the second one. We have 75 multiplied by 24 hours, but be careful, it will work just for 12 hours. The half of the 24, uh, the half of the 24 so we multiply by half or 0 0.5 to get the half of the value the result will be 1092 watt hour per day total pv panels energy needed 1092 and we multiply by the safety factor the final result is 1419.6 watt hour per day so this is the total energy that we needed for our house. Now to calculate the total watt peak rating needed for the PV panels to operate the appliances. So we apply this formula. Total WP, the uh, watt peak of PV panels capacity needed equal to total PV panel energy needed divided by the PGF, the panel generation factor. This factor is equal 3.43 and the total PV panel energy needed is 1419.6 so the final result we divide this value by 3.43 and we have the final result 413.9 watt peak now to calculate the number of PV panels so how many panels we need for our system, for our house, to calculate the number of PV panels for the system, divide the total watt peak of PV panels capacity needed by the rated output watt peak of the PV modules. So here we have two nodes, 
The first one, increase any fractional part of result to the next highest full number, and that will be the number of the PV modules required. Result of the calculation is the minimum number of PV panels. So what's the meaning of these two notes? We are going to see in the next slide. Here we are going to calculate the number of PV panels. We divided this value, okay, we have this value, which is the total watt peak of the PV panel capacity needed, and we divide it by 110. So what is the meaning of 110? We can see here, each solar panel provide 110 watt peak, and we can see the final result is 3.76 so according to not number two result of calculation is the minimum number of pv panels the result is a 3.76 this means four so we need at least four modules this system should be powered by at least four modules of 110 watt peak pv model we have two nodes if more PV modules are installed, for example, instead of four modules, we use, for example, six modules, or we use 10 modules. The system will perform better and battery life will be improved. But of course, the cost will increase. The second note, if fewer PV modules are used, for example, we use two modules or three modules instead of four, the system may not work at all during cloudy periods and battery life will be shortened so the best number of panels for our system is four models thank you